Thank you, sir, for allowing me to raise zero hour notice under Rule 49A, the rules of procedure and conduct of business. Legally, I'll just state assembly, which come out in newspaper clipping more poor, detected June 2023, under the caption, Kem Armut, Group Arponio Kilo, Drops, Heroin, and Junk Sir, as a member of this August House, issues that we raise here, like today, like the zero hour also on my name, call attention also, <laughs> short duration also. As a member, I submit to your good office, sir. even question also. Sometimes today, with regard to drug and crimes against women, it comes. Incidentally, this one also, it comes now. So, <laughs> it's not my fault, to be honest. So, we, sir, I wouldn't take much time, but this is the issue, the list of business that has been placed. I will be very brief. I'll come to the point directly so that I will take only two to three minutes. Issue number one with this regard, sir, as we have been discussed even a question hour also about this minis of drug that has been there in the uh, mouth of each and every parents in every community about this issue. My submission, point number one is that the police department like we have, I have said in the question hour also, the anti-narcotic task force has to be strengthened where more manpower has to be sanctioned to tackle this minis. Number two, bonus or a kind of incentive to be paid to the personnel who work over time. We understand the same police personnel have to look for law and order. The same police personnel have to run for many crimes, again, women and children, and other issues. So a special incentive has to be considered for the personnel who are working day and night, 24-7, to nap the culprit. Number three, sir, through the zero hour, I would like to point about the importance of an IT cell. And cyber cell has to be strengthened throughout the district and the direct import recruitment has to be in place. At the same time, the expert also has to be appointed to nab the culprit through digital investigation, through the modern technology uh, to be in place with the department. Number four, sir, there should be a separation between law and order and crime investigation so that officer and personnel involved would not be overburdened. So, a very important point about the rehabilitation center where the government should establish a government-owned rehabilitation center because at present we don't have. There are only private rehabilitation center, which is very expensive. Poor parents, they cannot afford to pay for the expensive, uh, for the stay of their children within those rehab center. So number six, a special budgetary provision has to be in place with the state government to tackle this crisis because this is like a war. This is like a war in our society where we have to fight together. And through you, sir, I would like to appeal to different NGO also who are in our state, like we are participating very actively for other issues within the state which is very pertaining. I would like to urge civil society, NGOs also, to come together in an aggressive mode to fight drugs and say no to drugs in our state. So these are my few submissions, sir, uh, through this zero hour notice, so that we would like to see that the government will take initiative on this issue. Thank you, sir. Minister, may I reply, please? Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm so thankful once again to the honorable member from Nongpo constituency, Mr. Middleborn Sim, for bringing this zero hour notice under Rule 49A of the Rules and Procedure of Conduct on the, on the news items which appeared in the newspaper of Mongpo, dated 20th June 2023, under the caption Kem Arnold Group 2.7 Kilo Drop Heroin Najan Clarion. Uh, uh, sir, I think those points which he has already uh, uh, pointed out submitted it is it is noted it is noted down by me sir 
And uh, let me also just clarify one thing that uh, home department alone cannot uh, just go on on its own. But now we do have a dedicated team from uh, from social welfare department as well as from the home police department where we both working together, be it for rehabilitation and also as far as cyber uh, cyber lab is concerned. We do have a small one and now the intention of the government is to strengthen it into a full-fledged cyber lab so that we'll be able to further strengthen the activities and the service of the police uh, personnel. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, on 19 June 2023 at around 4.30 p.m., a credible source of information was received by East Chantiel's police regarding two drug peddlers traveling in the Tata Winger vehicle bearing registration number NL07T0815 and are suspected to be carrying consignment of illegal contraband, with Guwahati Assam being the targeted destination. Sir, on receiving the information, the Anti-Narcotic Task Force of East Jaitya Hills quickly swung into action and around 5.40 p.m., one Tata Winger was intercepted at BMS fuel station Nongsning and a thorough search of the vehicle was conducted in the presence of independent witnesses. Mr. Speaker, so on searching the vehicle, 200 soap cases containing yellowish orange powder were found concealed in various compartments inside the vehicle. Sir, a preliminary test of the powder was conducted and the test yielded positive result for heroin and the total cross weight of the contraband was found to be 2.738 kgs and after observing all the legal formalities the illegal contraband was seized and the two occupants of the vehicles were arrested as per law sir a criminal case by clariat police station number 48062023 under section 21c slash 29 and dps was registered and during the course of investigation the Tata Winger, which was utilized to transport the illegal consignment, two mobile phones and cash of 2,800 uh, 2, rupees were also seized. The, the, the seized truck exhibit was forwarded to Forensic Science Laboratory, which long for expert opinion, and the report was received on, 9, uh, on 13 July 2023, confirming that the seized of substance is in fact heroin, which is a narcotic drug as per the narcotic drugs and Fist, uh, Fist, uh, FICO to uh, Tropic Substance Act 1985. Mr. Speaker, sir, on 31st August 23, the Anti Narcotic Task Force of East Jaja Hills arrested another person from Lakimpur, Kolpara district in Assam, who is suspected to be intended receiver of the contraband. It is also worth mentioning that on the, uh, uh, as on date, three arrested persons who were arrested in connection with the criminal case registered are still like languishing in judicial custody. Mr. Speaker, sir, in order to ensure that all valiant efforts do not go in vain and that the perpetrators of crime are prosecuted as per law, charge sheet was submitted on the 6th September 2023. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the valuation of the seized heroin of 2.7 kg, uh, kg is approximately 16 crores, 42 lakhs, 80,000. Sir, the total valuation of narcotic drugs and uh, psychotropic substances seized since the year 2019 till 6 September 2023 is approximately 223 crores approximately, which is truly a remarkable achievement for Meghala police. Sir, the menace of drug trafficking and consumption in the state is not being taken lightly and has been prioritized as one of the social evils which needs to be eradicated and deal with stringently as per relevant provisions of law. In order to be able to tackle this menace as per the existing provision of law, the government of the day had notified the advisory board on 30th June 2023 to deal specifically with the issue of detention of habitual drug traffickers and the board has been constituted as per Section 9 of the uh, Prevention of Illicit Trafficking in Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act 88, and henceforth the detention of repeated offenders will be dealt with as per relevant provision of the Act. 
So it is worth mentioning that the police department has already submitted a proposal to initiate legal action against nine repeated of offenders as per the provisions of the prevention of illegal trafficking in narcotic drugs and psychotropic substance act 1988. In addition to invoking section of the uh, prevention illicit trafficking in narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances at 80. The police department has also enhanced its mechanism to curb the menace of drug trafficking and consumption in the state. From the year 2019 till 6, a total of 515 cases have been registered in the state where in 826 male and 109 female persons have been uh, arrested. So in the same duration, approximately 32,555 grams of heroin 8,479 uh, kilograms of cannabis, 2,796 grams of opium, 81 kilograms of methamphetamine tablets, 10 kilograms of crystal meth, 57,802 bottles of codeine cough syrup, and 15,396 of other psychotropic substances have been seized by official of the police department. So apart from these notable seizure, police officers have also seized 287 uh, mobile phones, 84,93,503 ash and six arms and weapons. So the presence of the anti-narcotic task force in the districts have been highly beneficial as detection and seizure of drugs has increased substantially in the past few years. In order to ensure that the efficiency of the task force is being maintained and to keep them up to date with the modus operandi of drug traffickers in service, course training on drug law, enforcement and NDPS procedure are being imparted annually to the officials of the police. So I would also like to inform that the honorable members of this esteemed house that the state Level anti narcotic task force has also been renotified on 15 June 2023 under the chairmanship of the Inspector General of Police. The purpose of the state level task force is to devise strategies for supply and demand reduction, monitor the performance of the district anti narcotic task force, and identify regions which are hotspot of drug trafficking. Sir, so the police department has also acquired phone number of narcotic sniffer dogs for the K9 units to assist the anti-narcotic task force in conducting raids along the highway and in various vulnerable places across the state. Sir, the police department has also been engaging in several community policing programs involving the participation of community leaders, students and non-governmental organizations. Community licensed groups have been constituted in the police station level wherein community leaders and respectable members of the society are members of the CLG. So the police bank is also regularly coordinating with NGOs such as the Kripa Foundation, Shillong New Hope, the Addiction Center, Shillong, Maudiangdiang, New Life Center, Mauro, Breakthrough Center, Juai, Asha Bhavan, Shillong, Sankar Hastalkam, the Addiction Center, Shillong, Manbha Foundation, Shillong, and Wisdom Center, Umdiha, which are dealing with rehabilitation and counseling of drug users. Further, sir, as part of the Nasha book, Nasha book, Bharat Patwada campaign, a total of 1,263 awareness programs have been conducted throughout the state, and these awareness programs have gone a long way in imparting knowledge about the perils of drugs, especially among the students in schools and colleges. So, the initiative of the police department and the government of the day to eradicate the menace of drugs in the recent past has yielded positive outcomes, especially in terms of drug detection and seizure. However, as the menace of drugs is a global issue, the collective participation of all stakeholders of the society is required to completely contain this social pathology. Therefore, through this August House, Master Speaker, sir, I take this opportunity to appeal to all the citizens of the state to be part of the government's project to eradicate the menace of drugs and to free the society from, uh, from drugs for the betterment of the present and future generation. Once again, sir, before I take my seat, I thank Mr. Uh, Meryl Bonds Aim, Honorable MLA from Nong Pok for traveling this zero notice in this August house.